Election Day 2004. I'm on my way, just coming back from voting at my local polling place in Berkeley, where I vote in Berkeley. It's the only church in my whole neighborhood that is not Unitarian. It's very bold. And, and I love voting. I do. I feel connected to people almost in a sacred way. I feel connected. And plus, you get the sticker, which says, I voted. It's hands for you. don't have to tell people. I vote. You don't even have to say where because it has an American flag. So, you know, I voted here, not in Liechtenstein or Albania. Here in America, I voted. And, and I was feeling good, too, because uh, I read the political blogs obsessively, and they were all saying the same thing. The early exit polls were looking really good for my guy, just looking fantastic. For, okay, he wasn't really my guy. I mean, he wasn't my, I mean, I had a guy. I had had a guy who I had thought of as being my guy, but he yelled. And after that, he couldn't play anymore. I've never understood that. <laughs> so I was left with this guy as my guy. I don't know, to me, the guy who was my guy, he was a little aristocratic, a little militaristic, a little corporate. Then again, compared to the other guy, this guy was way my guy. And it was looking like he was going to win. So there's a bounce in my step as I'm crossing Ohlone Park, it's this little stretch of green next to where we live in Berkeley. And here comes one of my friends and neighbors, Brian Weiner. Brian goes, how's it going, Josh? I say, it's going great, Brian. The early exit polls online were looking really good for our guy. And based on my own informal exit poll, I think Berkeley is going to go solidly for our guy. <laughs> so as long as the rest of the country follows Berkeley, we should be fine. Hey, Brian, you don't seem so sanguine here. Why the long face? You're harshing my mellow. Well, Josh, I was just listening to the radio, and they were saying the early exit polls were misleading. In fact, to me, it's looking like our guy is going to lose. Lose? To that guy? OK, Brian, I'm telling you this right now. If, if a majority of Americans vote for that guy over our guy, I'm done. I'm taking my toys, and I'm going home. So Josh, what are you saying? This is probably where I should tell you a couple of things about Brian. One of them is that he's a political theorist, and he's an excellent, in fact, he's the head of the politics department at USF. The other is that Brian is, to me, the most physically demonstrative of all political theorists. He is, if you will, the Isadora Duncan of political theorists. <laughs> so Josh, what are you saying? Are you saying you don't like democracy? Now, Brian, don't try to get me stuck in one of your Socratic traps. You know I love democracy. Look, each time I'm saying democracy right now, I'm releasing endorphins. I'm having a milk letdown. Me, love democracy. <laughs> so, Josh, are you saying that you like democracy, but only when the people agree with you? <laughs> yes. No, Brian, of course not. I understand democracy is people power. The people can choose whomever they want. But here's the thing, Brian. Our education system has been gutted. As our president loves to say, our children's isn't learning. <laughs> and people get their news from the same few news outlets owned by the same few corporations. So, Josh, are you saying you will believe in democracy once the people catch up to you? Of course not, Brian. You know me, I'm a mess. I'd never say that. Brian, I'm saying I'll believe in democracy when the people catch up to you. Because you, Brian, are a substantial person. And I don't understand how this happened. We started so similarly, Brian and I. I mean, the two of us, two East Coast Jews, both, both went to Princeton, both majored in politics, both studied under the same advisor, Sheldon S. Wolin, political theorist. Now the same number of years have passed since then for the both of us. Here we stand, two same-age, middle-aged guys in our shared mutual neighborhood park in Berkeley, my son about the same age as his daughter. So why is it, Brian, that of the two of us, only one has become a grown-up? Well, Josh... Perhaps it might have something to do with the fact that of the two of us, only one did his thesis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>